Hi, welcome to my video. Um, so something a bit different today. Um, so I'm reviewing um, both my old and my new Kraken diving housing that I've just received from the States. Um, so um, I've had the Kraken diving housing for almost four years now. Um, I've traveled around the world with it. Um, I've dived in all types of conditions um, and it's served me very, very well. Um, so it comes in this hard case. Um, it comes with um, instructions, all the necessary um, equipment needed to seal your case. Now, the reason that I went for the Kraken diving housing initially um, was the construction. Um, it's made of hard um, aluminium. Um, unlike um, a number of other diving housings uh, where it's uh, predominantly plastic um, and that's really because most um, other dive housings are only really certified down to really 30 meters but they advertise 40. Um, this um, can go as far as 80. Um, now I've only really pushed um, to 42 meters um, with this housing um, and works really, really well. Never had any leaks, never had any failures, never had any issues whatsoever. Um, so um, it's um, uh, the hard plastic um, for the glass on the back. Um, open it up. Um, it fits um, phones up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max um, or any other phone that goes up to six and a half inches. Um, now, um, last month um, I was due an upgrade. Um, so this month I opted for the iPhone 13. Now, because I use my phone um, to go diving, um, I opted for the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Pro Max, um, knowing that the 6.7 inch of the Pro Max would not fit this case. However, when I purchased the phone, I had not trialed the phone in the case before I bought the phone. Um, and as you can see, the window um, doesn't actually allow for the um, additional camera bump that's come with the new 13 Pros. Um, so I was unable to dive on this particular occasion. Um, so, um, unknown at the time of purchasing the phone, Kraken had brought out a new updated um, version of their diving housing. Um, so having just received this today, um, I thought I'd share the unboxing with you. Um, and um, yeah, we'll uh, go straight ahead. So this uh, was received um, or sent via uh, FedEx. Um, and it took less than a week to arrive here in Sydney, Australia. Um, so I was very, very impressed um, with the, the quick delivery. Um, so box, inside of the box. <laughs> so a little um, Kraken um, face mask. Um, considering that we are still um, in a pandemic. So thank you very much, Kraken, for, uh, for a new mask. Um, so um, this particular model is the KRH05. Um, so um, we'll uh, go straight ahead with the unboxing. So again, a hard case, same as my other. Um, there's an additional section here uh, for the pump. It's the same pump as the one on my um, original. So again, instructions, uh, a tie for your wrist uh, to make sure that it's secure. Um, I believe there's some O-rings in there as well. Um, 
Yeah, and a couple of um, Kraken um, stickers as well. So, as you can see, a substantially larger window. Um, construction, if I was to compare it against the original, Very, very similar. So, very similar in design, slight addition here. Um, and obviously the, the wider camera bump. On the back, Looks to be exactly the same. The only um, change now is um, Kraken are no longer supporting the Dive Plus app. Um, so it no longer comes with the QR QR codes just here. Um, I do believe um, that the um, the housing will still read um, that uh, QR code. Um, so I might try and take a photo and add it to the video um, because um, yes, it, it works um, if you take a photo of the QR code. So perhaps uh, print it off um, and leave it in your Kraken diving housing. Um, I do know they've brought out their own app, um, however, um, not to advertise uh, Dive Plus, but if you sign up uh, with them, uh, the filter um, option that they have for both video and uh, their pictures um, is fantastic. Um, it's, it's really good. Um, so, okay, so we open up the housing. I'll take my 13 Pro. Slightly different um, in construction. Um, on the original, um, there is a um, mechanical piece um, that allows you to fix the phone in place. Um, it does appear that the revised model no longer requires that. Okay, so there we are. It fits well. So the pump um, being the same as my old one, um, very, very simple. Um, so you pop your phone in, um, you unscrew the cap. simply place that on um, and um, there will be a red and green light here and you just pump until it goes green and then it gives a strong sill. Uh, they do recommend to, to leave it a minute or so um, just to check the integrity of the sill, uh, make sure there's no leaks uh, before diving but as I said I've been diving for many years but particularly with this housing for around four years. Um, and again, I, when it's green, I've never had any issues whatsoever. Um, so, um, so yeah, that's my, my quick look at the housing. I won't go into the um, software uh, now. It was really just an opportunity to unbox, check the contents um, and also check that it did fit the new 13 Pro um, and have a little look at how it fits in that window there. Um, so yeah, really, really impressed. Um, the construction is exactly the same. Um, gives a nice clear window once the um, sticker's removed. Um, the only thing that I was going to suggest um, is, um, again, this being around four years old, um, it's developed some scratches um, on the um, 
the window here. Um, haven't had any scratches on the um, front window, um, but um, what that uh, led me to do is um, just purchase a um, screen protector. Understandably, um, there's not one specific for this diving housing. Um, so what I found useful um, is to look at um, a phone that is the same size as that rear window. Um, I've opted for a Samsung Note um, screen protector um, and um, if it's anything like the old one um, it fits the window really really well and gives a real good um, sill um, and um, it'll prevent any um, scratches as, as this one has um, developed over the years. Um, but um, again, because of the construction of this, I'm not overtly concerned of any kind of knocks and bangs to it. Um, but, um, but yeah, just a, a suggestion to anyone looking at this housing. Um, so yeah, the uh, Kraken diving housing. Um, KRH05. Um, this um, cost me around about um, 600, 650 Australian dollars, um, which included express delivery with FedEx. Um, it costs around, I think, 450, 499 uh, US dollars. Um, and um, yeah highly highly recommend um, this housing um, for anyone that's looking for a great um, uh, diving camera um, for um, for their dives um, yeah thank you very much for your time and uh, thanks for watching